Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech and, and in today's video guys we're going to be checking out a aftermarket GPU color. Now this one's from Arctic, this is the Accelero Extreme 4. Now this thing has three fans, uh, a very very beefy kind of uh, backplate that you put on the card and uh, yeah, without further ado we're going to be checking out this product and uh, yeah, seeing what it's like. Now I personally haven't installed an aftermarket GPU color so it's going to be very exciting to see if you know I can actually get it installed on one of my 770s and uh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Also, one thing I do want to mention is that um, for this will be the first time I'll kind of be messing around with thermal pads. I've installed stuff like thermal paste hundreds of times, but thermal pads, yeah, never had any experience with these, so it'll be pretty good to uh, yeah show you guys, you know, how you actually apply these to a GPU. I think these are on actual, you know, the RAM chips. And now let's kind of delve into the video, and yeah, let's see if this aftermarket GPU color from Arctic is any good. So getting on with an unboxing inside the box, you're going to be finding the GPU color itself, a large metal heatsink, some protective film, the graphics card holder, loads of thermal pads, they're actually blue, quite funny looking, and yeah, finally you're going to find all the other kind of accessories for insulation and mounting of the cooler, including a load of screws, clips, and also washers. Now onto the installation of the cooler, I am going to be going really in depth, I am going to be making, uh, yeah, I am going to be making a different video on the installation of aftermarket GPU coolers, so hopefully that will be helpful. So first up, yeah, you want to be uh, removing your stock cooler, and then once you've actually done that, you want to be, uh, yeah, choosing and inserting the screws into the mounting plate on the actual cooler itself, that's where it you know, the copper is on the cooler. Now, once you've done this, you want to be, uh, yeah, locating the hot component areas such as the VRMs and the RAM chips and installing thermal pads on the hot areas, but on the reverse side. Now, once you've done this, you want to be, uh, yeah, positioning the protective film and marking down with kind of a permanent marker, yeah, the hot areas and cutting the openings for the hot areas so that the thermal pads can be touching the uh, heatsink on the opposite side. So, once you've done this, you want to be verifying the, the actual you know, the protective film alignment, and then yeah, you want to be securing this with screws, adding the clips, and once you've done this, you can install your GPU, and then finally install your graphics card holder, because this card is quite large, it will sag inside your case, so this actual gra graphics card holder is to kind of, you know, stop that, and you know, somewhat prevent that from, you know, sagging and breaking, so yeah, it's all good. And now, let's kind of get onto the benchmarks, and yeah, let's see how this performs. So guys, this cooler has been in and out of my machine and I have kind of tested this thoroughly, you know, kind of kept an eye on GPU Boost 2.0 and, you know, been, you know, forever been looking at the temperatures and also, you know, them kind of clock speeds. Now also, this cooler does do a pretty good job and yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to be grabbing my phone and uh, yeah, showing you guys some of the numbers that I achieved with this card. I will say it is a lot better than the uh, MSI cooler for sure. So the numbers, now just before I get on to the numbers, let me just tell you about the 770. Now the 770 has 1,436 cores, just a little bit less than the 970 that recently came out. The core clock on this MSI version is uh, 1,098 MHz and the boost clock is 1,150. Now the way GP Boost works on NVIDIA cards, if you guys don't know, it will uh, try and achieve the boost clock while staying, you know, somewhat quiet, but the but the fan speed will ramp up to achieve the core clock, near enough always, unless MSI sets a, you know, um, an actual kind of limit on how fast the fans can spin. If that doesn't make any sense, sorry, but uh, yeah, that, that that's kind of how it works. Now, both tests were done uh, with the room being at 22 degrees, and yeah, the idle temperature for the MSI cooler is 32 degrees, and with the Arctic cooler, 27 degrees. Now, the low temperature for the MSI cooler is 82 degrees, and then for the Arctic cooler, it's 71. Now, this is where it gets interesting, right? The fan speed percentage for the MSI cooler is 55% fan speed, while the Arctic cooler is 44% fan speed. Now, remember, them fans on the Arctic cooler are smaller, so they you know, are prone to make more noise, typically. But I will say, the fans on this cooler are ridiculously quiet, and because it was spinning at 44% instead of the 55%, say, on the, um, the MSI card, I literally couldn't hear it, like seriously. The idle kind of noise the MSI cooler makes is like the noise the Arctic cooler makes when under load. Now here's another interesting kind of statistic. The average clock speed for the uh, yeah the MSI cooler is 1,124 megahertz, and then with the Arctic cooler, 1,100 yeah 1,163 megahertz. So as well as the card being cooler and quieter, it actually performs better because it's not being thermal throttled and it can reach that highest kind of, um, you know, 
uh, um, kind of boost clock and kind of beyond a little bit, even though I didn't have no overclocks on, so it went above what it's actually rated at. So that's pretty good, I suppose. So it is a very nice cooler. I can. The only real negative I can say about it is that the installation does take a long time. I did spend about an hour installing the card, and it you know it was somewhat difficult. Um, now yes, I did get it working. I don't. You know, I didn't kind of, you know, find it really difficult to install, but this is something that I feel, you know, only the hardware enthusiast is going to bother with. Now, a lot of people do change out CPU coolers, but I think the amount of people that are going to actually, you know, in, you know, feel comfortable installing in a, G a GPU cooler, you know, I do think that that's going to be, you know, a lot less. And, you know, this product is kind of kind of a niche product, but for you guys wanting a solution for a GPU, and after kind of watching this video, and also a video I am going to release uh, very shortly, actually, it's going to be kind of, you know, kind of like a general guide on how to install an actual um you know an aftermarket gpu color yeah so if you guys you know do watch that video then feel confident about installing it you know feel free you know go ahead buy this product because it is good quieter cooler and more performance you know you can't really ask for more than that this cooler does come in at uh, it is it is quite expensive um but i don't think that it's you know really expensive you know so i think on on amazon.co.uk currently it is a fair price i think for the amount of actual performance you're getting and you know as i said quiet and uh, you know it, it's it's you know a really nice card and uh, cool here yeah. so you know i kind of leave that there um you know it is up to you if, if you want to uh, you know pick one up but i will you know soon as i said releasing a guide on how to um yeah install an aftermarket gpu because i could have included it in this video but um you know i do want to go over it you know thoroughly and i think you know it kind of deserves a separate video anyway guys thank you very much for watching and you know hopefully you have kind of found this video somewhat entertaining and yeah you know if you guys didn't really you know kind of look into gpu coolers um you know now you know after watching this video I will say they are good. Um, the only real, you know, disadvantage I can say with this is that it is long. You do need a case to support it, and you know, as I said, insulation. I kind of feel, you know, only the enthusiast is going to install it, but you know, we'll leave that for you guys to, uh, you know, decide. And you know, if, if you do buy one, then you know, you probably, you know, gain the confidence by watching say, this video. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.